This project we got going has to do with this massive pile of dirt. Hello everybody, welcome to Terraform Together and our homestead project. I am super excited to introduce you guys to a new project we are working on today. Um, this project, it took us about nine months to complete um, and we're looking back at uh, the footage that we've shot over the last two years. The intent behind it was to basically create a community pantry. We are totally off grid here in this Norn Desert in Southern Arizona. And what that means is we have very limited abilities to store food, to keep things cool during the summer, keep things warm during the winter. So one of our first big, big projects on the property was this root cellar build. Now that we've had this root cellar for over a year now, um, um, it's been a great, great addition to the property. It's used as our community pantry um, for all of our eco residents and uh, basically maintains a solid temperature with no electricity usage, um, no anything. It's really amazing. And all you old souls are raising up a new world where everyone is sacred, every life accounted for. Guard and find your tribe. Let your hearts burn inside. Move your body towards the light. And here's the hole for our root cellar. So uh, this is going to give us a nice spot to keep things cool without electricity, um, with the garden and everything. I think we may have like 18 tomato plants. I may have overdone it with the tomato plants. So we'll be canning, preserving food, and this will give us a nice place to do that. Um, as you can see, we've got a little stairway down that will be eventually nicer and not as slippy. Um, yeah, this is probably 12 by 12 by about eight feet deep. Um, so once we're all said and done, it should be about 10 by 10 uh, and about seven feet, something like that. Be putting gravel down here as a base and then um, start building it up, start getting the stairs. Uh, really excited about this project. Again, another thing we've been wanting to get done for since we've been out here, four months now. So yeah, that's our update for today. Um, really excited. We've been trying to get this done for like four months now. And so uh, we've got a ton, a ton of projects to do, ton, a ton of time to put into stuff, um, but really excited to get a shovel. I'm gonna get so strong um, because we're just gonna be shoveling and for the next like two or three months all summer. Just to kind of give you guys an idea of what happens inside of um, those bags once they dry out, this was just a piece uh, of clay that I pulled out before we put it in the bags. This was just compressed by hand and it's very rock solid. Um, so once these uh, are actually in the bag, this crumbles a little bit just because it's not, you know, in a bag. Uh, and I'm playing with it. But once these are in the bag, once these are compressed, I mean, they basically become one big rock. And then the barbed wire down there is what kind of holds all these big rocks together. And then once they backfill everything, so this thing is gonna be super strong. All right, everybody. Um, this is day three of the root cellar build. Yesterday, got the basics done. Um, so I kind of rigged up this system that I hope is gonna work so that I can get this gravel into bags and into the hole as simply as possible and not have to climb up and down this like steep, slippy ramp a thousand times um, with 40 pound backs. Uh, so what I did was got this pallet, some paracord, uh, and then made a little slide out of some scrap plywood. And so the idea 
if it works, hopefully, is that I can stack the bags onto the pallet, slide them down, unload them, pull the pallet back up. Show you guys kind of the workflow we have here. So um, this is our table screen. Uh, basically the wheelbarrow goes underneath it. Um, we screen out the rocks and those will end up going in as backfill. Um, and then we have this really nice, sandy, beautiful clay. Uh, once we're done, I'll add some water to that, put it in the bag, send it down the chute, tamp it down, and then uh, we just keep doing that for forever until we get high enough. So hopefully this works. I'll check in a little bit later once I have some progress. All right, so got nine bags done. Uh, I've already got six down there. And yeah, I think I got a system going now. Um, it's just, again, shoveling dirt, screen into here, mix with water, put the bags, put on the sled. So uh, tried this with six. It worked mostly. Let's see if I can work the uh, sandbag toboggan down again. All right, let's try this. Maybe. Legs. All right, I can't do this with the uh, filming. <laughs> Whee! About halfway done with the second row. You can kind of see how it's taking shape. So. Um, I'll be filling the gravel up to this first line, uh, so the floor level will sit about that much higher than it is now. And yeah, just kind of cranking on. So if you can tell, uh, one thing I've learned, very dirty. But also, the uh, barbed wire doesn't like me very much. So, day three, destroyed my pants. Um, such is life. If this clothes make it through the whole build, I will be surprised. So here's our second row. I think what I want to do is fill up gravel up to this point. Um, so that'll give us, I mean, a solid foot at least of gravel. And that's just to kind of help with any um, flooding that may happen. We do get pretty big monsoons. I'm not too worried just because like a ton of water doesn't seep through this ground. It's all kind of clay and pretty hard packed. So I'm not too worried about that. And then on top of that, we'll be doing um, tarps and like berm walls and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, seems pretty solid to me, especially once it all dries out. Hey everybody, it's the end of day four on root cellar build. And so this morning um, I had a pretty big client project um, that we launched, which was very exciting, but it meant I couldn't really work on the root cellar as much as I had hoped to. So Katie came out and she killed it. And she got this road here done. Um, let's see if you can see this, there we go. She got that back row done, and then um, we both kind of worked together and got this row and a little bit of this one. There, I, I can't do this. There we go. A little bit of this row done. Um, and so we got about half a course done. Um, I went into town and got more gravel. <laughs> so another close to two tons of gravel um, that I get a shovel tomorrow <laughs> and luckily buried back there somewhere um, I'm really off on the uh, angles tonight back there somewhere buried is boards um, killed it at the coal wood pile at Home Depot today um, so I got a four by eight sheet of something um, cut into little one inch or one foot strips that I'm going to be building into a chute so we can have it up here, shoot the dirt downwards, um, rather than having to um, fill bags by hand, which is what we've been doing up so far. Um, also got really excited about this, because they were super cheap. 
these two by twelves, um, and I think they're yeah, they're sixteen feet long, um, and they were in the coal pile, so they were like eight bucks. So I'm like, yeah, the, the ends are kind of shot, but I don't care. Um, so this is going to be our door frame. Um, and we're gonna do the Sosugi Bon um, with the blowtorch. Um, Katie got her feet wet with that the other day on a flower pot. Um, so I'm gonna let her do that and we'll get the frame in. The door we got is super cool. It's from the Habitat Restore and it is a old high school men's shower gym uh, door. It's still got the sign on it and everything. It's got a heavy duty lock on it, which is pretty cool. And it's probably seven, eight feet tall. It's really tall and skinny, um, but we're gonna frame that in. I'm gonna chill tonight a little bit. Uh, we've been pushing really hard the last couple days. And then tomorrow, get back, hopefully get, see the, the sad part is these first two courses um, that we have down there are getting filled in tomorrow because that's gonna act as our foundation and basically kind of if rainwater does get in there um, it's not going to flood the entire um, root cellar it'll just get in that la bottom foot and hopefully settle out and then drain out eventually so um, that's it i am going to enjoy oh no nope, come on phone there we go um enjoy this beautiful sunset we have out here tonight um, so that's why i love living out in the desert Beautiful sunsets. Almost here. All right, everybody, it is day five on the root cellar build, and I think we're making good progress. Um, may not get it done in just one month, but we'll see. Uh, today, my goals are to take this wood and make a chute and get all of this gravel into the hole. And then um, we're going to try and finish up row three. So, um, fair amount of work today. Here's where we're at. Um, I got all the gravel, another close to two tons um, down in the hole, and our foundation's done. Um, so this gravel here and the gravel out there just basically kind of locks the sandbags into place. So as we get taller, um, they have a solid foundation. Um, this gravel here is very loose, and so it will also act as basically a big fringe drain. Um, it's about a foot deep, and so basically we can get a foot of water in here before we would even notice it. Um, the ground uh, will kind of funnel everything out eventually. Um, that was important because we do get some pretty big monsoons, a lot of flash flooding, that kind of stuff around here. So um, in addition to putting berms all the way around it and just covering the top of the tarp and just doing everything we can to keep the water out. I wanted this about as deep as I could get it as just kind of a fail safe. One of the kind of sad things is um, we put so much work into getting um, two and a half rows high. This one's actually up and so um, two and a half rows high. Uh, but now that we've covered it all, uh, you can't actually tell that we've done a lot. Um, I think the goal for today is just to finish out this row, uh, which is probably another 15 bags or so, something like that. Alright, it's the end of day five, and we got third row done. We got all the gravel in, and so our foundation's done at least. Mm -hmm. uh, Last bag of day six 
and we are done with um, course number five. Uh, so if this is an exciting one um, because we have our door frame uh, ready to go. So that'll go in tomorrow. We've been killing it today. Say hi, Katie. Um, feel like we got a good rhythm down. Um, we're averaging about, what, a bag every 10 minutes? Maybe a little less every eight minutes? Faster halfway through. 30 minutes for four bags? Something like that. Yeah, so we slower this morning, but we got a better system now. Yeah. Um, so it doesn't look as impressive over here because it's been backfilled with our floor. But if you look down here. It's really cool. So this is um, five courses high. We'll probably need, I don't know. Up to about my knee. Um, I think the plan for tomorrow is we're gonna get the door frame cut. Um, Katie is going to sosui bon it and burn it, um, and then we will get that installed. Um, we're going to get the Tyvek around the outside here and start backfilling this. Um, and then I think that's it. I think that's all we're doing tomorrow. So, yeah. Um, day six, five rows high, um, five courses high, and um, yeah, I feel like. Soon we can start just cranking and getting maybe two done a day, and we've probably got, I don't know, 15 more rows to go. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to finish this, and then we have our celebration beer for getting to this mile marker. And I think this is the most disgusting shirt I've ever had, and that's saying a lot, because I did three months on the PCT. Uh, I'm just seeing how long this thing will last. Our victory beer for getting the first five rows done, the foundation done, and getting just before prepped for the door frame. Um, because I learned in three tiny house builds that I'm a child and respond to rewards for accomplishments very well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe. Uh, we've got videos coming out fairly regularly now, um, as quick as we can get them edited and out. A lot of cool stuff coming up, finishing out this root cellar build, um, a hyper adobe tiny home, um, a underground school bus. Uh, if you're interested in supporting Terraform together, we are a tax deductible 501c3 uh, nonprofit, and uh, your donation dollars go to help support our eco residency program, to support um, our building projects, and really to support videos like this. Um, and it's because of people like you donating to our cause uh, that we can continue to do this and continue to support our eco residents and give people an opportunity to learn and live a simpler life. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this has inspired you to live a simpler, more sustainable life.